Hey guys, look at these pretty colors I made. We're gonna use them today to do a little nail fail here on the channel. My name is Gigi if you're new. And um, yeah, I tried something, didn't really work out. I don't have anything else for you guys. So I thought you would enjoy watching me fail on the road to success. Uh, Cause as I tell you that I've totally failed at this project, I'm not upset about it. I'm not mad at myself. I'm not down about it. It's just, a learning curve right when you're trying to figure something out there's bound to be failure and you cannot let that discourage you or upset you and it's okay to share it so that's what we're doing today I'm sharing one of my fails with you guys um, I probably wouldn't have except I hadn't I worked so long on trying to figure out this set that and there's not even other nails to go with it it's just this one but I worked so hard at trying to make this flower and I did it like three different times and I don't have anything else for you. So nail fail today it is, right? Not gonna be upset about it. I'm, I'm just using it as a springboard to try again. And there is a point in this, in this flower, I think if I had stopped and done something different and we'll get there, um, I think it would have been okay. That, if you could hear that, that's my grandson and he sounds to me like he's having himself a little moment. He's almost two and a half, and if you know the age, you know. There's there's some learning going on in there, too. And um, <laughs> um, sometimes he gets cranky about it. That's two-year-olds for you. No big deal. No, no harm, no foul. Uh, I am going to skip the odd pedal here or there because otherwise this video would be stupid long for no reason. Um, but here, here you go. I'm just adding all the pedals looking really cute and when i add that little bit of of polish and and uh disperse it out with alcohol that's the most unnecessary thing that i did in this whole thing because you're not going to see any of that but right here i think if i had just done a yellow middle and made it a simple flower we would have had something I think we would have been okay. Let me know if you agree with that in the comment section. Also, while you're down there, um, I'm using poly gel. This is not acrylic, right? Which poly gel is acrylic. It's just a different form. But poly gel doesn't behave the same way acrylic does in that it starts to blend together too much um, where acrylic will sort of stand out from, from itself. So I think that's where I was really having a problem with this layered type of flower um, because gel does not behave exactly the same way that powder and monomer acrylic do. So I think that's really where my main struggle is. And if I'm going to continue to try to do this with poly gel, I'm going to have to find some new techniques or I don't know, develop them myself. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out if possible. So if you guys have any tricks, let me know because I just, I have asthma and breathing monomer smell all the time is just absolutely not something I think I'm capable of. So that's why I don't work with acrylic. Also, it's harder, right? There's no there's no wiggle room with, with acrylic. When it's dry, it's done. And if you messed up, you messed up. Um, and with gel, I can take it all off and try again if I want. So... It's, I think acrylic is probably way harder. So you acrylic techs out there, all my love to you, cause whew. And as you can see, I'm just adding more and more and more petals. I, at this point, honestly, I know what I was thinking when I was doing this right here. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This looks awful. But I kept going, I kept going, I just kept going. This is actually my favorite part of the flower is this one leaf that I put on here. I almost didn't show it, but it was the one part of it that I thought, oh, I nailed this part. This is the one part I think I really nailed. The shape of the leaf is good. And then I'm going to use this little um, metal thing, scraper, whatever, and put the lines in there. And I think it, it came out cute. But, but, the flower itself, um... I'm going to say what my daughter said. It looks like I put a piece of chewed bubble gum on my nail. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, 
this was definitely a nail fail. But you know, it was it was it was a reason for me to come say hey to you guys and spend a little time, and I'm always down for that. <sighs> Hopefully, something less faily in next week's videos. Bye bye. See you then.